Hello everybody, this is Pond the Frugal Streamer. This is a video requested, a viewer requested video on how to make sound clips. Okay, so sound clips is something that a lot of people are using now in their live streams. I use them for host alerts, follow alerts, subscriber alerts. They're using it on stuff like Mixer, for instance, now provides uh, uh, viewers the ability to pay for sound files that they can play on the live stream. So, uh, you know, plus Stream Deck now has the ability to uh, take a sound file, put it into their software, and simply by hitting the button on the Stream Deck, you'll play that sound file, much like you this. You are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. 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 Okay, so that's what I use on my stream a lot. I like that sound file a lot. And so I'm now going to show you how you can make a sound file so you can do things like that. All right, so, and this is especially if you're using Streamlabs, for instance, and you're, or Stream Elements, and you're, you want to use a custom audio file for a follow alert, that sort of thing, too. It's really kind of what I'm targeting. But, you know, if you've been streaming for a little while and you have a Stream Deck, or you're using Mixer, then those other options come into play too here. Okay, so here is my gaming PC. And so here I'm using Voice Meter Banana to record. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what how you can do that. It's very simple to do. Uh, simply by going into this UI right here, right clicking, you have a couple different options that uh, you can use to record with. You can do pre-fader inputs, but you can do all five at one time, or you can do one or two, three, or three, whatever. Uh, but up to five at a time, and these are your pre-fade inputs. So if I want to record my mic, I could just simply hit physical input one there. I can hit record button. I'd record my mic. If I wanted to do a commentary or something like that for a podcast, it's a great way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to do post-fade outputs. And post-fade outputs you can control with EQ. That's an important. That's, that's why you need to think about why you want to do this. Okay, if you want to use the built-in EQ... Okay, which you can do all kinds of changing, and I have a video on this too. Um, if you wanted to use the EQ, then you would want to try to use the post fade outputs. Okay, so that's just you know why you would want to use post fade outputs vice your uh, pre fader inputs. Uh, but if you want to record multiple channels, like a podcast, for instance, where you have multiple uh, links coming at one time, then you want to use your pre fader inputs. Okay, but just for this, I'm going to use post fade outputs. All right, so. Here is target directory I'm going to send it to. If you right-click on it or left-click on it, you can choose whatever you, know, you want to send it to. Uh, you can name this here. I named it Sound Clip. File type is going to be MP3. Um, you have a couple different options, including Wave here that you can use. Uh, sample rate, um, you can select here. I'm going to use 48 kilohertz. Uh, you have the different bit rate you know, options here. You can record up 7.1 surround if you have that uh, um, added. Okay, so that's it. Now, so this is highlighted, everything's good, and it's simply hitting that record button. Now, what I want to do to avoid copyright issues and getting this demonetized is I'm going to record a clip of my live stream, okay, of me playing Battlefield 1. And this guy right here is going to kill me, and I'm going to say, wow, that guy don't miss. Okay, so I'm going to record that little clip. Okay, so I'm going to arm voice meter. It is now recording, and I'm going to hit the play button. And we move this over so you can see the sound coming in here and coming on the A1. Wow. That guy don't miss. That dude was freaking good. All right, so I've stopped that. And now I'm going to stop the recorder. And I'm going to hit the play button or the stop button. And now that file is now saved. And I should be able to bring it up. On my, I'm going to bring this up on my stream rig. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is switch over to the streaming PC. All right, so this is now the streaming PC. And I'm going to go and I'm going to... Uh-oh, what is that? Fidelity. I didn't... Did I click on... Did I select that? Let me bring... I don't want to close that. I don't want to. Yes, I do want to exit. All right, so here is my... File manager. Let me right click. This is just a quicker way for me to get there. All right. So this is a sound clip I just recorded. Now, the second piece that you're going to need to do this is you're going to need a sound editor. Okay. So I would recommend Audacity. Audacity is free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Okay. 
So I'm going to bring up Audacity. I'll provide links for these down below. Okay. But Audacity, you can't beat it. Now, I personally, I use Audition for everything because it comes with Adobe Creative Cloud that I pay for for my school for video editing for YouTube and all that stuff. So I normally use Audition. I'm not as familiar with Audacity, but for what we're going to do here, it's super easy and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so I have Audacity up. All you need to do is take the sound clip that you have and drop it right in this gray area. And it'll automatically make a two channel for stereo, left and right um, track for your uh, sound. Now the sound is represented here, which you can see. And um, I'm going to simply take and left click, hold and drag this area that I want to get rid of. And I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard, okay? You can also use the scissors. There's a little scissor button up here toward the top, which you can see right here, and you can get rid of it. Now, that is the sound file. And I'm going to play it by clicking on there. Wow. I got all miss. All right, so that's the file. file. Now I'm going to export this. And I'm going to export it as WAV because I don't have the lame uh, DLL installed on this, but if you want to do mp3 install the lame dll and you should be able to save it to mp3 too and i'm going to name it i'm going to use it uh let's do this uh let's say wow let's just call it wow why not wow all right so i got it saved all right so that should be saved i'm going to exit close and now we should be able to bring up I have an area here, audio clips, and here is that wow. Wow. I got on this. There you go. So that is the file we saved. That's it. I do. It's awesome. And it works. Uh, so that is really it. I um, mean, that sound, that's, that's cool. Uh, what you can use sound clips for. That's an easy way to make it. It works good. And it gives some layers to your live stream, it gives your viewers a little more interaction, especially if you're on Mixer World, the way they've got the UI design, it's a great thing. Uh, but yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, you know, provided you with some thoughts on how you can, uh, you know, customize your live stream even more than what you've already done. So thank you, Frugal, frugal Streamers. I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a safe rest of the weekend, and uh, we'll see you next week with more videos coming out. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll see you later.